Following a formula that has produced high-tech jobs for New Jersey in the past, university researchers and private entrepreneurs are now focusing on technologies like solar cells, batteries, and biofuels. Princeton University's Anlinger Center for Energy and the Environment hosted its first workshop on industry-university collaboration yesterday. Science and Technology correspondent Patrick Regan was there and has the story. Companies ranging from EPV Solar to PSENG sent technical leaders to meet with university scientists and engineers who reported on research that might lead to or influence commercial developments. Topics included environmental sensors, technology that could enable mass production of solar cells on printing presses, and mechanical studies aimed at improving battery lifetimes and performance. For instance, if I were to take a battery and I were to squeeze it, okay, it's going to behave very differently than if I take the battery and I bend it. And so if you think about, say, a, a smaller application, say something that you might, you know, wear on your back or something like that, then the difference in how this battery is compressed or extended is going to affect how it performs electrochemically or how long it lasts, how much energy it stores and things like that. In general, all of the same rules that apply to smaller batteries like in your laptop apply to larger batteries like in your car or to say uh, solar cell integration or wind power integration. Entrepreneur Greg Olson explained that the Andlinger Center for Energy and the Environment is building on a series of successful industrial academic collaborations. A current one uh, having to do with mid-infrared lasers and gas sensing is called MIRTH. Two that I was involved with in the past were POEM and PRISM. These are acronyms that stand for things with fiber optics and optoelectronic materials. So over a billion dollars worth of valuation in companies came out of the POEM and PRISM centers. Uh, thousands of jobs, including many for uh, Princeton PhDs. Materials scientist Craig Arnold said that insights from industry can keep academic labs focused on problems that matter. By integrating the two groups together, we actually can really understand the key challenges to face and really try to overcome them the best way we can. Olson pointed out that this kind of interaction can also open the way to federal stimulus grants. A lot of the programs require joint industry academic participation. Patrick Regan. NJN News, Princeton.